Hi, and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my buddy Rod with us from Merrimack Valley Wi-Fi Bros. Rod, welcome to the show today. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? I'm glad to be here. So, Rod, I asked you to come on the show today because I want to talk about Wi-Fi while you're traveling and what are the do's and don'ts of using Wi-Fi. So could you give us kind of a little bit of an overview? Sure. So let's say you're so let's say from vacation perspective, you're traveling, you know, maybe you're traveling in the U.S. or maybe you're traveling internationally and it's, you got different options depending on where you go. So if you're in the U.S., well, if uh, most places you stay, a hotel, Airbnb or a, a VRBO, whatever it is, your friend's cabin, you know, they're going to come with so they're going to come with Wi-Fi already. And so you just you can use that Wi-Fi there. Um then if if that doesn't happen, then the next thing you can do is you have your smartphone, you have a nationwide plan, probably wherever you go, as long as there's coverage, you can use your phone as a hotspot. And so you use a, it's called tethering. You know, the phone uses the cellular network uh, to access the internet and it provides an, a Wi-Fi network for all your other devices to, to work with. Um, the catch all, the catch is you must have good reception uh, where you are vacationing and, mm -hmm. and you don't always have that and that's a problem so in that scenario if you know where you're going and you you can look up and see what the what the coverage is there from different carriers you can rent or buy a mobile hotspot and they come in lots of flavors some of them some of those hotspots can handle uh any any different carrier you get a special sim that works with different carriers and there's a bunch of these and then finally if you're a, a a camper or a boater, you know, you take your camper out. Most campers these days come with like a wine guard antenna on the top. Great for a satellite reception. Boats are the same way. So you can get satellite internet um, for that kind of a scenario. So that's the, you know, I'll touch that on the U S for international travel. You know, it's a little bit different. Some of it's similar. So hotels typically offer free Wi-Fi. So, you know, that's the same as in the U.S. I'm not sure about Airbnbs or VRBO there. I'm sure, you know, whatever you rent will tell you what's available. Um, you can set up an international plan for data and text before you go for your phone, but that won't typically give you enough bandwidth to share. Just enough to do your email, text, and, you know, Uber, that kind of stuff. You know, not not high da high data rate. So you probably wouldn't be able to stream anything over that. Um, you could also, if you have a phone uh, that's unlocked, that is, it can take any SIM, and most phones these days are, you can buy a SIM card for the country you're traveling to. Wow. So if you buy, in, and you buy that SIM card, you get data rates for that country. You know, you buy it for, you get it for a month or however long you're going, you probably have to get a month you know, but you get data rates in that country, which would be similar to what you get here in the U.S. And in that scenario, you could, you know, use your phone as a hotspot. Um, you can also uh, rent or buy a mobile hotspot. So, like we like we talked about previously, you just have to get a SIM card that works for the country you're going to. Um, and they also have these things called travel SIMs, a uh, uh, travel SIM card. So these, you know, they're designed for people that travel. Um, they usually come as what's called an eSIM or a virtual SIM card. So you you install that on your phone and it gives you a data connection. You keep your phone number and you're traveling internationally. That can be important. You keep your phone number for phone calls and text, but you use that eSIM for data. And, and again, you're likely getting it and you're getting it in the local country so you should have pretty good data rates that you could actually share. And there's some some companies for that. I think Air, Aerolo, OneSim, Holafly, those are a few com companies that do that. That's for that's for international travel. So there's a lot of different options you can you can use for getting uh Wi-Fi while you're on vacation, whether it's in the US or international. Well, I'm always paranoid. You know, I yes. go away and I hop on the Wi-Fi at the hotel. But I'm like, I don't want to do anything that involves me putting a password in. You know, I don't want to do my banking or log into my school accounts to because all I'm thinking is like, okay, everyone just got an A because someone wiped out my grade book. 
you know, because they they saw my passport. You know, I get I told you I had a friend, he would do that every year. He'd go to the same place, he'd log into his, his email, and I would get an email, you know, from him, quote unquote, you know, asking for money or something. But there's you gotta be cautious. There are viruses and things on these networks, right? Absolutely. Sometimes sometimes being paranoid is is uh is uh the right thing <laughs> and this is one of those this is one of those times right and um and, you know so there are ways you can protect yourself so if you're at a hotel um you what you can get is called a hotspot router and tp tp link makes a, a really nice one it's called a nano router i think it's the ac750 this is a great little router i've actually used it in apartment buildings for small small apartments it's a uh, it's a little router. It has a firewall, so it connects to the hotel Wi-Fi, and then it provides you your own special private Wi-Fi that no one has access to, and so you can use that device to to protect your phone and your computer and your iPad, and and it works really well. And you get up to 100 megabits data rate out of it, so it does everything you would need. You typically won't get quite that much out of a hotel Wi-Fi anyway, so. So it's um it's a good solution that protects you uh when you're when you're uh, at a hotel or an Airbnb or uh you know or a VRBO if you're worried about it and you should probably be worried about it. So Rod, what's the best way for people to reach out to you if they have questions about Wi-Fi? Oh yeah, so it's easy. They can reach me on my website at www.mvwifipros.com. And if you reach out, if you go there, um, there are little widgets that pop up that let you schedule a phone call with me, send me a message, um, and various things. Uh, and and then you can also reach me by calling me at uh, 978-577-5884. We'll set up an appointment for a phone call, or we'll do the phone call right then and um, and find out what you need. Rod, well, I really do appreciate you taking a couple minutes to come on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Sure thing, Kevin.